no future. Great big past. A little bitty guy on the rim of my glass. And gotta meet the plane so I can get my monkey. Teach him to be cool, but a little bit funky. I'm Rachel. <laughs> I'm from Florida. And I'm scared. I don't really want to do this. I really don't like doing illegal things. I like Disney. I really hope nothing too bad happens because I like my life and I hope I don't, if I do get something out of this, I hope I don't get mind control because it's kind of freaky. Hi, my name is Gloria. I'm from Southampton, New York. It's 45 minutes from Montauk. I, I just thought it'd be really cool because Montauk is so creepy because it's just like the end and like they did a lot of cool things there. I don't think we're gonna get like radiation poisoning or our minds are gonna be snatched. I don't fear for our lives. Hi, my name's Brittany. I'm from Washington, D.C. I am excited to go out to Montauk. It seems like a pretty interesting and sketchy place. Like a, an invisible ship, that kind of seems like bullshit to me, but you know, the government is it's pretty sketchy anyway, so I, don't, I, have, I really have no clue. It, it could be, it could be not, I'm not quite sure. My boyfriend works for the FBI, and there's so much stuff that he knows that he, he's like been sworn in secrecy not to tell me. But hopefully, by going to Montauk, I can find out the answers to some of those questions. I think that we may see something and be scared to death, but when we look back on it, we'll be able to laugh and realize that we were kind of being ridiculous. And hopefully we won't see any kids making out, because it's gross. So I'm, I'm Christian. Um, I'm from Long Island too. I've never been to Montauk to to go to the uh, Camp Hero at Montauk State Park. This list has uh, batteries, film, the shoe list, bolt cutters, screwdriver, New Testament, the Holy Bible, maps of the area, camouflage, and uh, a few other things. Crowbar, it's important. Hopefully we may uncover something that no one's ever uncovered before. Um, I did a lot of reading about it and um, watched a lot of YouTube videos of people there. And basically, it, it was like this government, it started out as a small camp to defend against invasion because it was the furthest place into the Atlantic Ocean for like the New York metropolitan areas. People started uh, doing experiments in mind control it was closely linked to experiments in radar invisibility in Philadelphia, and um, story has it that a ship was made radar invisible and optically invisible in Philadelphia, and it wound up in Montauk, and then all these people now have problems with their brains because the government is controlling them. We're gonna take a 1028 train and we're gonna go to Christian's house. We're gonna go to Glenhead and then we are going to drive to my house and stop and play with my dogs. We're gonna drive to Montauk and explore during the day. Immediately after our arrival, we were followed by two parks workers. We got out of our car and began walking the grounds and taking our first shots at the mysterious and dominating presence of Camp Hero. Our journey to Camp Hero started with an idea, an interest in uncovering and experiencing a place buried in history and secrets. Upon discovering a small building, almost completely cinder block closed, much like many of its counterparts, we decided to enter in a small crack. Most of the small building was pitch black, but of what we could see, strange things were in this tiny, isolated structure by the sea. We noticed giant circuit breakers and power supplies coming from underground in the walls. One inch gauge insulated electrical wire was buried in the concrete, and several pipes came up from underground but were cut off and wires snipped. So much power was being controlled or run through such a tiny isolated building, but for what? 
to make you wonder why the federal government handed only the above ground rights to the New York State Parks Department, and underground is still restricted and top secret. You find us in the music, in the moment, in the morning. You find us on the sidewalk, at the stoplight, in your lover. It is well known that the government has been building seawalls with large rocks on the beachhead to protect a lighthouse from beach and bluff erosion. But why are these rocks on the beach one mile away as well? Perhaps these rocks were placed here to protect the underground structures at Camp Hero from being exposed by bluff erosion. Last, we decided it was time to explore the restricted radar tower area. We broke through the fence and started to experience this place. The sage radar tower and surrounding buildings were eerily quiet, and many of them had large, dark basements and underground facilities that could lead anywhere. Behind the sage radar tower, we discovered what could have been a large generator or perhaps an air filtration unit. After leaving the restricted area, we drove around the grounds and found what appeared to be barracks, a mess hall, and some smaller buildings.
shit. <laughs> My heart is beating a million beats. I think I don't want to be here. <laughs> We're in the middle of fucking Montauk, driving around a fucking sand dune or whatever. And there's fucking Montauk monsters and shit out here. There's no type of civilization out here anywhere. I'm fucking exploring. I'm like really scared. I'm holding a crowbar. I don't know what the hell I'm holding it for. Uh, so what's the call? Mm -hmm. I'm not going up there. Mm -hmm. I'm not going up there. Well, I mean, I mean, I mean. Oh, wait, so Fearless Leader, uh. I mean. Fearless Leader has fear. Guys, <laughs> guys, I'm the only one who's allowed to be scared, right? I don't know, man. This is kind of, I don't know. You know what it scares me more? But it's like th this place was once real, you know? Yes, that's what's This place like really happened. Yeah. Like you come here at night and you could like say all you want about like, no, it didn't, like nothing happened. But this place is just fucking scary. Like I don't care if it's build up or anything. This place is just fucking like the scariest thing. It it's just like weird, right? Yeah. Doesn't it, really it vibe so weird? It's weird vibes. I'm getting weird vibes. I get vibes and I'm getting weird vibes. See, I had vibes and then they subsided once we saw the beach and how beautiful it was. When you really think about it, this place is fucking creepy as hell. Like, something <sighs> so went on here and there's so much mystery behind it, that's what's scaring the hell out of me. Are we horrible people that we're abandoning this? No, no we're rational, smart We're just smart proving people. that this place is scary, is as scary as it, like, is cut out to be.